Gee, I wish we had one of them doomsday machines. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're counting down the top 5 facts about super weapons. Come along as we explore the real world of revolutionary and far flung tools of war, as well as their odd and terrifying history. Number 5 They aren't always giant physical war machines. That's it? That's the super weapon? What were you expecting? When we think of super weapons in the modern sense, weapons of mass destruction like nuclear warheads come to mind. But a super weapon isn't defined by its size or curb appeal. All that matters is its ability to do serious damage. Now that nearly everything important is stored on computer servers, a well coordinated cyber attack can be arguably more devastating than most physical weapons of war. The Crash Override Malware, also known as Indestroyer, took down the entirety of Kiev's power grid in 2016. And in 2009, a computer worm Stuxnet was used to seriously damage Iran's nuclear program. It seems that the next generation of wars may be fought with keyboards. Number 4 Some of the incomplete ones were true works of science fiction. It's every dictator's dream to have the ultimate super weapon, a tool so powerful they can bring the entire world to its knees with the simple threat of its use. Over the years, this never ending arms race has produced some rather far flung concepts. Famed inventor Nikola Tesla's proposed Teleforce, often referred to as the Death Ray, was a particle launcher, which by Tesla's own estimation could bring down a fleet of 10,000 enemy airplanes at a distance of 200 miles. Perhaps the most outlandish theoretical superweapon in human history, however, was the Nazi Sun Gun, a 3.5 square mile, 9 square kilometer reflector launched into space that could burn the Earth like a giant magnifying glass. Oh, please. I can cause far more collateral damage than that. Karen, where'd you put my death ray? Number 3 They have a tendency to not work out. So, uh, over here, maybe? Some theoretical superweapons fail because of shoddy or overly optimistic science. But historically speaking, they tend to fail more often than not because they're simply too ambitious. Imagination is limitless, but resources are not. The USSR worked on numerous colossal war machines over the years, but most of them, from aircraft carriers, battleships, tanks, and heavy bombers, failed. They would have ruled the air, land, and sea, but they took so long and required such skilled labor that they were often abandoned mid-project. Those that made it into the field usually suffered mechanical failure quickly. So while they had the potential to be highly intimidating, superweapons have a risk of being a colossal waste of money. Gee, I wish we had one of them doomsday machines, Dainty. Number 2 Nazi Germany was notoriously into their Wunderwaffe. More so than arguably any other nation in history, Nazi Germany firmly believed that their so-called miracle weapons would win them the war. The uh, whole point of the doomsday machine is lost. If you keep it a secret, why didn't you tell the world, eh? No other country could keep up with the Nazis' speed of production, imagination, or diversity when it came to over-the-top war machines. The V-1 and V-2 long-range missiles were both devastatingly effective when used in combat, but the super gun known as the V-3 cannon with its 310-pound shells and 102.5-mile range received limited use. The Nazis also developed the first radio-guided bomb Fritz X, the heavy Gustav and Dora 800mm railway guns, and countless boats, planes, and tanks. Among the dozens of Wunderwaffers developed, the Kugelpanzer, a spherical reconnaissance tank, is arguably the strangest prototype. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos, or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1 They've existed for many years We tend to think of super weapons as technological wonders, but they don't have to be high-tech in the modern sense. Examples of superweapons can actually be found in pretty much every culture and civilization across recorded history. A superweapon is anything new, innovative, and efficient in war that gives one side a substantial leg up in combat at the time. In 4th century BC, the Juga crossbow was the first of its kind, 
a semi-automatic crossbow that allowed soldiers to fire multiple bolts in quick succession. The Byzantine Navy employed Greek fire flamethrowers to devastate their enemies at sea. As early as the 13th century, Song Dynasty China had gunpowder-based rockets. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.